Hey, welcome to High 45, a discussion about the future impact of this week's tech and world news leading towards the singularity. I'm Nathan Waters. I'm Tristan Grace. And this is High 45. Woo! Hope you have had an awesome holidays. Just <laughs> fantastically, <laughs> awesomely awesome with fair amounts of effort. 2011! Yeah, it is. 2011. And it is now the 11th of the first 11. Mm. You just said that a few minutes ago, so I totally stole it off you. Yeah. Massive palindrome. Is it? 11. 11. And then 11. It's, yeah. As long as there's no zero in there. Oh yeah, no yeah. zeros. I'm very <laughs> Okay. There's been a lot of stuff. Yeah. We haven't done this for like a while. For like, yeah, three weeks or so. We're just saying, like, it's stuff's going so fast now, it's kind of hard to keep up with. It is. It's really difficult. Like, you have to really be watching everything very closely every day, which we kind of do. But even then, like, you, you spend... Like, for each of these episodes, we go through and, you know, probably an hour or two before we film. Yeah. We actually go through and just research, like, look up all our all these typical sites and try and find, you know, what happened in the last week. And stuff is just insane. It's been going crazy. There's so much progress, it's ridiculous. And especially this time with um, oh, CES. Like, CES has just brought out all yeah. this amazing amounts of stuff, and it's like, whoa. Which I guess is still all, like, tech to come. Yeah, it's that's stuff. it. It's still all just... Really, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what, 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 what have we got? What well, uh, CES is going to be the singularity topic, so okay. that'll be the big thing. So uh, anything from CES, we're going to talk about where we think the industry is going and all that and, and how that regards to the future and what that's pushing. Lots mm -hmm. of good stuff this year. Um, and then apart from that, I have the rumours of, well not rumours, it's a guaranteed that Goldman Sachs has invested in Facebook. That's the big one. <sighs> Goldman. <laughs> <laughs> and Sachs. I don't mind Sachs too much, yeah, actually. Yeah, they should. Goldman, yeah. Uh, I've got uh, electronic glasses that bifocals change, and I've also got Lady Gaga's done some crazy vocally last thingy. I like thingy. Lady Gaga. She's and cool. Google Translate's got some going awesome stuff. Hell yeah. That was a sentence. <laughs> that was a sentence. And another thing that goes kind of with your connect thing as well. Oh yeah, well, that's my next thing, is the connect thing. Ah, yes. There's uh, lots, of, lots and lots and lots of new hacks that have actually happened uh, since, yeah. well, three weeks ago. And I got to play with one over the holidays, and... Yeah. And that's High 45 for this week. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. We'll catch you next time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> We're going to ramble on a bit more. Come on. Do we? What are we going to... Okay. Oh. Uh, will I go into this one? Then? You have to Toss ramble. Up. God. Okay. These are ramble. freaking awesome. These were... Bees? <laughs> oh, bees. <laughs> bees. Don't even misheard that. <laughs> bees. Oh, peas, not bees. Bees. I thought you said bees. No, these. Bees. Yes. God damn it. <laughs> there you go, there's our rambling. Uh, I'm these drink are, this beer and be quiet. This, was, <laughs> this is from CES, uh, unveiled by Virginia-based Pixel Optics. Um, they are electronic glasses which you can actually change uh, the focus uh, in a split second, like automatically. You don't know, you know how some people, um, you know, they have to put on uh, different glasses. Yeah, like you have reading glasses and then normal yeah, glasses. Yeah, normal glasses. So, so one allows you to see um, short vision, one allows you to see yeah, uh, yeah. long vision. These guys have actually developed uh, glasses where what they do is they just put a... It's a liquid crystal display yeah. in the lenses. And by just putting through a little electric current, they can actually change the, the focus of the That's lenses. Intense. So they've got them... Um, they're $1,200, so no one's going to buy them for so a They're not really ready for the third world quite yet. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> right. Still. Unless you steal them off someone. But uh, <laughs> they've got like a... You just tap the, tap the side, so it's like a touch sensor or whatever. Um, and it just changes the focus. They've also got a, an accelerometer, so if you look down, it can automatically change it. You look up, it automatically changes it. I like that. I like how accelerometers were like the crazy new thing, like in you know, Nintendo, where yeah, people broke them open to look at the accelerometer. No, it's not a chip. It's just like everything. Oh. It's not a chip. Yeah, it's not, there's nothing in it. It's just a little chip. How does it? I thought it was like a little gravity thing, like a bit yeah, like but a, it's in, in, in the chip. It's a little oh, tiny, little tiny, thing, tiny, 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 tiny yeah. ridiculously small. Like you'd think it would be something really cool. But yeah. Sorry, that was an aside. I always thought it was like just a big like a ball like on a on a like a, a pendulum type thing, but it just swings to wherever it goes in three sixty degrees. Well, it's just a gyroscope, is kind of thing. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. You should. Someone should post us like how a gyroscope works or how a. We could look it up on just... Google. It would take a lot oh. less effort. <laughs> but it'd be very other people went out and found it for well, us. Well, true. <laughs> that would be nice. So um, so, so anyway, anyway, what's what's cool about this is. <laughs> I mean, we they're, can see. they're freaking glasses that can change focus automatically. But I mean, it's not... Just think a few more iterations beyond that and you, you can instantly get, say, zooming. 
Yeah. It's like, you, you know, you can get telescopic views or even microscopic views. It's, it's bringing the tech thing there. Like, I know a lot of people around now have glasses that automatically, you know, go dim when it's got, you know, light outside. So we've already got the smart materials on there. And this is just another alliteration of that going further on. But people are starting to get that idea that glasses don't need to be a static object that has no tech in it. This is actually opening up the culture, opening up people's ideas to glasses should be a haven of tech. It should yeah. be the most crazy tech things ever. And then, of course, tech glasses. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, like, these are tech glasses. They are. Beta version. Well, then you have Gaga with her something. Yeah, sure. I may as well go on to it. Since yeah, yeah. It's so well. Uh, another CES. I think it was CES. She's really hot. Like, just uh, her wearing those glasses. Look at it. She's not hot. It's just because she wears crazy stuff. Well, I, I like girls who wear crazy stuff. And look, she's got tape over her nipples. Oh, no, it's a mannequin. <laughs> I'm getting aroused by inanimate objects again. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan's gonna hit me. <laughs> yes. Um. Anyway, this is uh. Lady Gaga teamed up with uh Polaroid. Right. I even know how Polaroid is still around. Like, they've actually they've actually come out with a Polaroid, another Polaroid camera that actually prints out stuff. I think it would be a good idea. Yeah. Like, that you're a Polaroid, kind of sweet. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. But um, these are touted as the first glasses that can actually take um video and pictures. So you know our, our idea of like, and our bitching and moaning about, why doesn't someone just make glasses <laughs> yeah, where simple, they can just take, basic. yeah, simple glasses that can just take a picture and video and just have it integrated so they look stylish and cool and people would actually buy them and wear them. Um, these are freaking pretty much it, except this one stupid addition, which I have no idea why they did it. it. And it's probably just for, because they ripped off the Gaga thing, because she... Apparently, the, her story was when she was like uh, presenting this at CES or some event because she made these um, glasses that had like two iPods that she basically stuck together and put over her eyes. You'll see the image. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that then she was like, "Oh, that'd be cool." And so, these glasses have front-facing OLED screens. So they have display the image on the front. On the front, that display out. Yeah. And the vast majority of it, like if you see, the only place yeah, yeah. you can see through is right at the top. Oh, right. The rest of it sits it's all along here and it's solid. You can't see through it. That's just silly. It's so fucking retarded. Like, imagine these glasses with the camera, with the video, and it has a USB connection and it has power and everything on board. Get rid of that fucking LED thing. That's so stupid. Ah, oh, that's weird. It's like, it's right there. It's, it, and yet they've... It's like cheeks. So. Yeah, they've tried to make it like... Still, like, fashionable. It, it does look stylish. I, I would not it, mind getting one of them, but that that is cool. It does. I mean, wow. That, well, it, that is sweet. Probably more for girls, so I'd, I'd probably get attacked, but still. <laughs> I, I, I like it. I think, I, yeah, I think cool. that's, that's going there. Like, I mean, that is a very stupid addition, but I mean, you know, Lady, Lady Gaga wore a suit out of meat or something before. And yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the whole crazy thing where if it was just recording, then people were like, well, that's weird. Come on, just crank it up a notch. Yeah. Like, oh, it's it's just cool that these two stories, like you know, yeah. tech that's out now, it's 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 starting to get towards that that it idea. Is, it's, tech glasses. I mean, it's it's getting there. I mean, it's a slow, it's a very very slow moving thing right now. But soon people will jump on board, and then it'll go exponential, and then it'll be crazy. We'll have our whole virtual worlds. And can't wait for that. We need yeah. some virtual worlds. It'll be interesting then. It will be. Um, yeah, let's move on to Facebook. So how are we going to time? Oh, I have no idea. I didn't even look when we started. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Facebook. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard that uh, Facebook has uh, announced that they're going to be doing an IPO in, I think it's 2012. I can't actually find where I've got the tab open. 2012. Fantastic. And uh, Goldman Sachs are going to be the guys doing it. And they've uh, invested uh, $450 million in it. So that values Facebook at $50 million. billion. Dollars, which is a lot Jeez. of money. It's which cheap. is uh, uh, just over half or just under half, it's around half of Goldman Sachs. So it, it comes down to, would you rather own two Facebooks or one Goldman Sachs? Two Facebooks. Two Facebooks, fair enough. I, th I still think it's undervalued. Still think it's undervalued? So, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, like I'm, I'm nervous about this. So, I mean, I, Facebook is worth an extraordinary amount, but to actually have a fixed number of 50 billion, it seems, it's a very large amount of money. Yeah. Where people could just easily go to somewhere else. Like, I mean, you know, everyone's always talking about, like, MySpace is laying off just yesterday or today. They're laying off 60% of their stuff. And, I mean, yeah. MySpace was the big, big thing way back when. Yeah, but see, I think... Well, see, that's something we're going to say. I think 
Facebook, no matter what happens, everyone seems to be um, predicting it's fad. It's downfall. It's downfall everyone is... And saying it's a fad and yeah. saying, oh, it's going to go the same way as MySpace and AOL. Like, it just seems like the easier thing to say, hey. Mean, yeah, I, I don't understand that. Like, yeah. I think they're just not seeing the value in it. Like, Facebook's mm-hmm. kind of... They, they, they hit the... Um, they got over the, the, the curve or whatever. Over the tipping lead, point. The tipping point, that's the one. And because they have so much data and new content, fresh content constantly being submitted. I yeah. mean, that's the value. The value in Facebook is the data and the connections and the yeah. behavior and just everything they're collecting. I mean, they're collecting every single click you do yeah. as well as the content and knowing all your intimate connections between yeah. you and all your friends and people. I, I see it even more as that, that um, Facebook, that the whole thing that Facebook is what you're buying is the idea of sharing that when you want to share something, when my mom wants to share something, when my grandma and my like five-year-old like niece or something wants to share something, they don't think of doing a blog, they don't think of doing Tumblr, Posterous or anything like that or Twitter, they think of just Facebook. Facebook is how I share it with everyone, how I put it out there to give to everyone. They don't think of emailing it to their friends, they think of sharing it by putting it on Facebook. That's that's what I've been reevaluating in my mind a little bit recently, that maybe that's what Facebook makes, yeah. <laughs> that's what makes it yeah, the sharing thing that when anyone ever wants to share anything they chuck it on Facebook I mean I mean Zuckerberg has said that that's his whole philosophy of it all yeah but 50 billion dollars worth of sharing 